Okay, here we are. I have solid walnut strips that are exactly half inch thick. They still have the tongue and the groove. And my intention is to do a series Finished hardwood flooring. Yeah, you can see that. Uh, I don't think it's premium walnut or anything like that, but uh, it's nice. It's nice wood. So they were free, and free means I've got wood that I didn't have to pay for. <laughs> What I'm planning is hardwood flooring that uh, we did take from a job. Um, it's acclimated in the shop. I think we've had it in there for at least one year. Uh, it might be two, it might even be three. <laughs> but anyways, that's, that's what the product is, it's walnut. Okay. Here we are. I have solid walnut strips that are exactly half inch thick. They still have the tongue and the groove. And my intention is to do a series on three on salt boxes. Now when I say salt boxes, one of the three will be an actual salt box. The other two are going to be a salt box shed and a salt box, excuse me, had pizza for lunch, um, leftover pizza, a salt box cabin, mini cabin. It's not gonna be big. Um, we built a shed pole barn last year and um, it was rather fun and I thought why don't we do a shed this year because you know you have guests out and uh, it would make a nice little guest house place for the kids to uh, bring their friends and a place if you're ice fishing in the winter Rather than warming up a big place, all you got to do is warm up a small place. There's a bed there if you want to stay overnight. Um, we're probably going to put a wood stove or some way of heating it by wood. But that's the idea. Now, whether that comes to fruition, um, whether that comes to be, I'm not sure. Um, but I, I, I think that's going to be the concept. And usually when I put my mind to something, that's what's going to happen. So um, I've got to get a couple other people on board. It's not just me. Um, that's actually a pretty nice, uh, <laughs> pretty nice piece of wood. That's going to look good. Anyways, um, I got distracted. Squirrel. Uh, I, th I think that's the way it's going to be. The shed itself is something I can do in the shop here. Um, and... Um, That'll get done relatively soon. Uh, it'll be spring though. Uh, we have to, we'll probably have to put some helicals in the ground 
to set our um, <clears throat> to set our beams on. I've got to cut the beams. Obviously, we have we have the wood on site uh, in the form of timber. Um, I believe it's been peeled. It may still have the bark on it. I don't know, but uh, we'll probably lask and chainsaw it, um, or chainsaw or mill it with a chainsaw. It's just basically squaring up the edges. Um, it's going to be probably a uh, to match everything else that's going on. We have a couple other buildings on site already that we've done over the years. Um, it's probably going to be board and batten. Um, I'll talk to a mill that's just down the road from us and see what he can see what he can get us and uh, make sure it's not too cost uh, cost prohibitive. Um, if everything lines up, we'll be doing a cabin build this summer, and it'll be quick. I mean, it's not. We're not. Uh, it, it might drag over, but the the structure itself should go up this year. Um, we've got a lot of stone on site, so we're. I'm kind of toying with the idea of putting uh, it's um, river river stone, so it's you know six inch, four six eight. Eight's about the biggest uh, river stone that we have. We'll we'll see we'll see what uh, see what we come up with. I want to do something interesting, uh, something that's going to be there for a couple of generations. So, yeah, we'll see what we do. Let's get on with this salt box. That's not really the right blade. This is a. Uh, I should probably change blades. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change blades on here. It's a Dymar blade. Um, I've used these. I don't know, forever. Long before Freud was out, or Freud, or whatever you want to call it. They're an exactly an eighth inch um, curve on them. They're a good blade. I get them resharpened, obviously. Um, I think I probably have 15 of these ones and yeah, I probably have 15 of these and 15 melamine blades. So we just rotate them as necessary. We are just cutting off the um, tongue and grooves off of it, the floor, what was the flooring. I don't know whether I mentioned it or not, but this uh, is reclaimed hardwood flooring that had never been installed. Okay, that didn't take me very long. I mean, um, between planing it and cutting it and changing the blade, I don't think it even took me a half hour. I've got, uh, I'll spin you around here. I've got uh, five pieces. I, I threw that other one out. Um, it uh, this these got a couple, little bit of a bow to them too, but uh, they it was it was it was a piece of junk. Um, this has got some good character to it. Now <laughs> I'm building a salt box, not a house. Uh, I'm going to use. I, I won't even use an entire board. But it didn't make sense just to mill up uh, one board. So I'm going to wrap that in plastic and then I'm going to get to laying this out. Yeah, 
There we go. Buy this stuff by the case. I've got bigger rolls as well. We use a lot of it. That looks like a good place. Okay, I'm gonna I'm going to keep one of them. Um, there we go. Yeah, I left a thumbprint. Yeah. Joys of working in a dusty environment. Um, I'm going to good lord. No end. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, <laughs> Yeah, anyways, I've, uh, I've got s five of these, and I'm going to pick the one I like the most, which is the ugliest one, of course. Um, it's got the most character. Uh, it's going to be sitting on my countertop and on my barbecue for until the end of time. And when I say that, end of my time. Um, but I'm only going to need one of these. So there's no point in keeping them all out. And there was no point in just milling a few of them. So I am going to wrap them up. And I wrap anything that I'm not using right away. Even if I've milled up um, styles and rails for a door, we wrap them overnight. It's amazing how quickly humidity changes, especially in a shop environment. Um, in the winter time, especially because we have fans blowing, uh, heat kicks in, furnace runs, temperature drops, temperature rises, humidity changes. So I'll put these away. I actually have some apple from a tree I took down about uh, 25 years ago that I have wrapped up in the back that one day I'm going to do something with. But uh, I've considered it for this, but I had this and I wanted to use wood that I took from a project though it's not my project it came from a project I was working on so that's where we'll do it and then I'll mark all this out and I'll bring you back when I uh, figure out what we're doing it's going to be a simple build I'm I'm considering dovetail locks not uh, dovetail joints just to show something different. I might even just do a, um, a finger joint lock. Um, yeah, a finger joint lock, which is just a straight a straight lock for putting a corner together. Um, it's just something, something different. I mean, you can go onto any YouTube channel and figure out how to do uh, um, dovetails. And some aren't skilled enough to do dovetails or have the tools sharp enough tools to do dovetails, but this is a, a simple build that's going to last a long time. Most everything I build, I kind of, I'm, I'm a structural guy. I build everything to last. I don't think I overbuild it, but um, I don't recall ever being called back on anything I ever built, so. What the consensus has been <laughs> between me and my me and myself <laughs> is to take this um, piece and maximize what I have for width. It's about three, about three inches. Um, and what I'm going to do is do a mitered, um, all mitered box. And then once it's all glued together, and I'll go through the process of, wh of what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. But uh, take this Miter all the corners, top, bottom, all four sides, so there'll be six pieces in total. Um, put it together, glue it. I'm obviously going to have to let it dry, and then I'm going to cut it apart. Um, the hinging of it, I'm not sure whether I'm going to hinge it still. I, I want to. I want to see how. Uh, I have, I've never worked with the uh, with this type of. Um, I've never worked with walnut. I, yeah, I, I have never worked with walnut, so I want to see how it goes. It looks like it's, it, it, it's wood. So anyways, that's where I'm starting, and um, it might change from there. This is an unplanned, other than I need a freaking box for my salt. I don't like the bowl I've got. As I mentioned earlier, it, uh, it doesn't have a lid. I could make a lid. <laughs> got a lathe, but uh, it, it's a round bowl. And uh, the salt's open continually to the um, environment, cooking, uh, humidity. 
So I have, I don't really have any trouble with the salt. It's not uh, that it, um, it picks up any flavor. It probably does, but, uh, um, yeah, anyways, that's where we are. The daylight that is seen is pretty equal top and bottom. I'm stay keeping the, um, the carbide here off of the square and just getting the, um, degree of that. Now, this tells me it's exactly 45 degrees, but if you look, it's out just a tiny little bit, or if I take into consideration that it's to the side of it and not to the center of it, then it's right on the money. To give me my widths, I'm just taking that sample piece putting it on here, making a mark, and then I'm going to leave a quarter inch, leave a quarter inch, all the way down. That gives me, that gives me a little bit of grace for cutting, if we're allowed to have grace these days. Seems to me uh, it's something a lot of us uh, forget about. Okay, um, it's coffee time. Coffee gets cold out here, so I'm not uh, taking a stop. Okay, I only need six pieces. And essentially, this is what we're going to have. And then we're mitering this. Okay. Tape these two together first. just the way it is. Nature of the beast. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Hope I got the camera angle good. Because I'm not doing this again. I'm going to be inside this box at some point with a chisel getting rid of the glue. But, yep, definitely going to be getting rid of the glue in, inside the box. I can see it now.
got it uh, clamped as good as I can. I've got to go measure for some I'm building a pantry. So I gotta go get measurements for it. We'll let that set up while I'm going. You know, the grain transfers up onto here. So we'll see, we'll see what we do with it. And here we are. Um, I've sanded this up. The, uh, the cube turned out quite nicely. I've made a bunch of other pieces and I'm going to run them through. Um, I've run several others already through to make uh, additional boxes. Whether I will or not, uh, I just, uh, this turned out so kind of cool. I think what I'll do is I'm going to cut along the grain. Okay, make sure I'm running this through the right way. All my grains are traveling the same way. That being different, so that goes up against it. Dunk, dunk, dunk. That would work. My other option would be to make that one the bottom, this one the top, and run it through like that. And the reason I'm running the grain across this way is it's not going to chip out as uh, readily or as easily. So let's see what happens. I'm going to screw up a, a cube. It's there. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> Pinch of salt. Oh, I got clean up on that one. But regardless, I'll put, uh, I'll probably use the belt or the, um, I've got a small be uh, bench sander. That's what we'll do. I think first I'm going to take a chisel and scrape out the glue. Now this is a terrible thing to do to good chisels, but it works. Oh yeah, that's freaking hard glue. And we'll maybe do a little tapping, a little tappy tap on it. I hate using a chisel for that. Makes me cringe. Marples uh, chisel. Um, I've had this set for longer than for a long time. 
buying those chisels um, was probably one of my first uh, big spends. Um, I keep them in my shop on the wall now and you'll see one of them's been brutalized. <laughs> but uh, this one here, I used to I used to use these like daily. They were in my uh, job toolbox. I'd hired a a fella. Um, oh, I used to remember his name. I've apparently um, forgot forgot his name just out of uh, saving my myself. But uh, he did that to the chisel before he realized that uh, it wasn't a smart idea and had to go home permanently from the job site. Um, yeah. Common chisel. He actually, uh, with a metal hammer, beat out a window frame, um, an aluminum window frame. So it went through aluminum, it went through the frame itself. Um, he thought it would be smarter to use a chisel like that rather than um, rather than a sawzall, which we had. Oh, again, you've been dusted. Um, yeah, but anyways, that was that, that that was one of my big big spends in the day, probably in the seven late seventies. Um, this is back together, or this has uh, been cut. Everything. I think I got it the right way around. Yeah, that looks right. So it's there. It's a good looking little box. I was driving a pin in right here and spinning this. I'm gonna give that a little thought. I'm not doing this just yet. That might be a cool that might be a cooler idea. And a lot easier because when you're using salt, you want to just uh, reach over, grab it. I don't think that's heavy. Yeah, with it being full of salt, it's not heavy enough to tip it over. So it might be a really good option. I just drill a hole and drive a uh, a pin in there, maybe a brass pin or something. I'm, I'm sure I could find something. Coffee time. Oh, I have a better idea. I think what I'm going to do is use a common nail. And this is uh, doesn't have phosphate, phosphate coating on it. It's just a standard steel two inch nail. I think what I'll do is um, I'm going to clip the head off of it, put this actually in the drill and drill the hole um, and then what I'll do is clip this off, tap that in, cut it off and then sand it flush and just let the friction of the um, wood as it takes on moisture um, hold this in place. Will it rust? Uh, it might but it's not going to be enough to, to concern myself with. So that's where I'm going. This is that nail. Um, what I'm doing is just centering my pencil mark on the center of this, and that's where I'm going to drill a hole. I could do this on a drill press, but uh, we can do a little thing. Works nice.
Ouch. I think I'm deep enough. My box opens and closes. <laughs>